Welcome to Angela's Kitchen Garden where I grow my own organic fruit, vegetables and cut flowers. I've come down to the plot today to get some weeding done and to plant up another bed and so I'll show you what I'm going to be doing today. So in this bed here I've got my leeks although I'm not going to plant those out just yet because they need to get a little bit bigger and I've got my bunching onions which I, which I will be planting out. So I'm going to weed the rest of this bed and then I'm going to plant it up. I've also got some um, leaf celery that I'm going to plant up in here and I've got a few other bits that I'll put in so that's what I'm going to be doing with this bed here and then I'm going to those are some more leeks that I've got I'm just growing them on so they're a little bit bigger before I plant them into the ground because I like them to be about a pencil's thickness whereas these ones are still really really tiny so I'm just going to let them get a little bit bigger before I plant them out and then here I have got my um, brew kale or flower sprouts and so I'm going to have a little bit of a weed under there and a little bit of a tidy up of that as well and then a tidy up down the back and then I'm going to go through the bed systematically working my way down to the end of the plot so I'm going to go through this one then that one then my peas and I'm going to go all the way down and get as much done as I can before it starts raining too heavily it's very light rain at the moment so I'm not too worried about it and so I better get on So these are the weeds that I've managed to get out of this bed here. The reason I didn't use my hoe is because I had a lot of weeds like this that have tap roots and if you just cut them off here like you would with a hoe like that you'll leave the tap root in the soil and this will then regrow another plant and so I needed to dig them out and so that I would get all of the roots out and then it means that these then won't regrow. So now what I need to do is I need to have a look at my plan and see where things are going to be planted along here. It's been quite difficult to dig this over because at the back in particular it hasn't had water on it for a very long time actually because it hasn't really rained very much over the last sort of two months and so it's really really hard. So what I might do is I might give the bed a water and then let that seep in, have a look where things need to go and then plant them and then give it another water and then hopefully they'll be all right and they'll be able to get their roots down into the soil. So I've finished planting up this bed now. I've got my leeks here and they will go in a row along here once they get a little bit bigger but they're still a little bit too small to plant out because what I do is I make a hole into the soil and then I drop the leek into it with its roots and then I water the hole back in and then it's left without soil around it so that it develops that nice white stem on the leek. And so I wait till they get a little bit bigger, about the thickness of a pencil. So they're almost there. They just need to grow a little bit bigger. Here I've got some asparagus peas. I've never grown these before. Some people say that they don't taste very nice. So it's a trial. If they're nice, I'll grow them again next year, maybe grow a couple more. If they're not, then I haven't really lost anything. And at least I've tried them so I know. Here I have got some lettuce. I am trying to hide it in amongst the asparagus peas and the leaf celery and then the um, spring onions. I've only got a small section there. If the birds eat it, it's not the end of the world, but I'm not going to net this bed. So hopefully everything survives. Here I've got some leaf celery. And this is really nice and it grows really well actually. And then here, as I said, I've got my spring onions. So this bed is done now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a really thorough watering because it was so dry. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've run out of time now, so I am going to have to go. But I'll show you what I've managed to do today. 
So I've managed to weed around the back of my beans up until where my bucket is. So I've just got to do that little bit there and then this bed. I've managed to sort out this bed, level it off and plant in my Brussels sprouts. I've just put this cover on as a temporary way of preventing the butterflies from laying their eggs on them. But I will need to come up with a solution for these and for my purple sprouting broccoli, my um, brew kale or flower sprouts as a way of protecting them that doesn't blow over. So I'll be trying to sort that out. If you have any ideas that will withstand very strong winds, put it down in the comment below because that'd be really helpful actually. And then here I've planted out this bed, which is looking really good. My leeks will be planted out when they're a bit bigger. And so this is how much of my plot I've managed to clear so far. So I've cleared all the way down that side and all the way down this side. And then I've still got the rest of my plot that needs a good weed. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos. If you're on social media, you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Pinterest. And the details of that are in the description below. And I'll be uploading another video at the same time tomorrow. So see you on the next one. Bye.